Hey guys, Exotic Ants here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of an update on how my big headed ant colony has been going over the last few months. It's actually been about 9 months since my first and only video on this colony, so it's definitely about time that I make another video about them. But first, I want to say a huge thanks to all those who are currently subscribed to my channel. As we've just reached 200 subscribers, which I'm super excited about. So if you haven't already subscribed, then definitely consider it, as I'm planning on making a 300 subscriber giveaway video. Which, at this rate, is going to happen very soon. Okay, so I think it's about time we go and have a look at how this colony is doing. So, in my first video on this colony, they were actually only housed in a simple test tube setup, and had only about a dozen workers. So you guys will be amazed to see how much this colony has grown since then. Because, as you can see here, they're in a much larger setup now. One with much more nesting space, and a large outworld for foraging in. But despite the size of the outworld, the ants still seem to reach every corner of it, and have definitely made it their own. Because, as you can see, to the left of the outworld is a large brown pile. This pile is actually the ants' graveyard and rubbish pile, where all the ants end up after they've died, and where all pieces of food that can't be consumed by the colony go. This is a great sign that the colony is well established in this setup. Something else interesting about this colony is that over here at the entrance to the nest, the ants have actually made a huge pile of sand, which I assume they've done to make the nest entrance smaller, meaning it's harder for larger predators to make their way into the nest. This is a very smart tactic that I've actually seen a lot of my colonies do. This just proves that the natural world is always finding new ways to improve our man-made structures. So it's about time that we go and have a look at the nest itself, where the bulk of the colony will be residing. And would you look at that. In just 9 months, this colony has gone from only about a dozen workers to several hundred workers which would be completely unheard of for just about any other type of ant to do. Here, you can see an absolutely massive pile of larvae, which might only be about two or three weeks old, meaning in another two or three weeks, all of these larvae will be workers, or even mages. Now what are mages, you ask? Well, have you noticed those couple of really massive ants? These really massive ants? Yep, those are mages, which are the largest cast of worker that the queen will produce. What exactly is a mage's job though? Well, as you can see, they've got massive heads which are packed full of muscle. And they use these to break small pieces of larger pieces of food that are too large for the workers to carry back to the nest. They make jobs that could potentially take hours for the workers to carry out, only take a few minutes. Making these mages a huge asset to a colony. Now, what does a big headed ant queen look like, you ask? Well, you may have noticed already the large, dark figure hiding behind this massive pile of brood. That there is the queen of the colony. The single mother to the hundreds of workers in this colony.
At this stage in the colony's development, the queen could be laying dozens of eggs every single day, which are quickly collected by the workers and taken to the large piles of eggs. As you can see here, this is one of the many piles of eggs within this nest, and not a moment goes by when there isn't a worker or two tending to the eggs. So that's all for today's video guys, so if you enjoyed it then please leave a like, and if you haven't already then definitely subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more content just like this.